welcome to Mining Review Africa and we are coming to you from DRC Mining Week 2024. So thank you for joining us at Mining Review Africa today. Thank you. Kindly introduce yourself and the company that you represent. Um, myself, Manoj Patil and uh, I'm heading Mining Engineering Services Division and I'm with the group organization since last 20 years and uh, Mining Engineering started since 2010. Uh, in DRC, keeping in mind to have one-stop engineering solution provider company. Okay. Now, you know, with that long history, um, MES is a large EPCM contractor in the country. I also know that you have the largest industrial park in Lubumbashi housing various manufacturing facilities. But for those who don't know, just give us an overview of the products and the range of services that you offer, particularly to the DRC mining sector. Uh, thank you. Basically, the concept of uh, having industrial park at once, uh, one area was to give a complete solution to the mining industry, whereby everybody is struggling for logistic and you know importation. And so the and idea and concept was to have one stop production and industrial park at one place. Uh, we are producing anode, cathode, um, and uh, HDP piping, uh, and also adding with that uh, copper uh, cable manufacturing plant. So we are producing now currently domestic wires, and we have expansion of industrial as well as high voltage uh, cable manufacturing. Apart from this, we also do uh, pre-engineering building uh, kind of uh, concept, having one-stop uh, fabrication of each and every infrastructure, tanks, and, and the structure at one place. Okay. Now let's look at something that's very, very important, you know, and which lends itself to sustainability and responsible uh, mining, and that is waste management. And you are one of the largest waste recycling companies in the country. How does the company contribute to reducing waste in the DRC, but most importantly, helping to conserve the environment? Um, basically, the idea came in mind uh, that uh, currently DRC is producing 2.5 million ton of copper yeah. um, this year, and then it will reach to three, four, five millions in coming few years. And uh, you can understand that uh, any mining producing and they are also generating a lot waste. of waste. Yeah. Now it starts from mining uh, of excavation and then you have waste oil, tires yeah. and plastics and in chemical plant uh, it comes with the plastic and yeah. lead anodes and yeah, batteries yeah. and so we started with uh, battery recycling plant uh, and then lead recycling because it is most hazardous in the industry and it, it can't be uh, you can you cannot dispose it easily. So mm -hmm. we we establish that facility, and parallelly we also uh, add uh, plastic recycling uh, s as well, uh, because the idea was to have ecosystem in DRC. So earlier it was everything was going out, even the wastage also going out of the country, mm -hmm. and then we started our own you know one by one all, and then we are also adding up uh, py tire pyrolysis process. So that to you know recycle all mm -hmm. the tires in DRC in country only. Okay. Yeah. Now part of responsible uh, business operations is also workman safety. Talk to me about the measures that you have put in place, and why having a safe workforce is so important to you. We believe uh, that the workforce which are working with us or directly indirectly they have to go safe at their family. And that is how we started to, um, you know, penetrate uh, in blood uh, safety first and always. Mm -hmm. The slogan we adopted in the industry. Currently, we are having more than directly, indirectly 5,000 workforce. And from start of their working with us and uh, until now, they all are safely working. We have achieved a lot of milestones uh, in industry uh, for safe uh, working hours. Uh, and we set up every month, every year, the milestones uh, higher and higher. Okay. Now, as you mentioned in the beginning, long history in the DRC. So tell us about some of the significant projects that you are currently involved in in the country. 
Um, we are focusing uh, on different you know, expansion projects in mining industry as well as infrastructure. Uh, we build uh, about more than uh, 200 uh, kilometers of 120 uh, kV transmission line and the substations. Mm -hmm. uh, we currently engage in Kamoa for smelter project as yeah, well as yeah. uh, KCC, some of the debotaning expansion project, yeah. as well uh, in Kiko for the you know zinc uh, yeah. project. We are also one of the you know major contributor in STL for you know uh, germanium project, which was uh, recently That's inaugurated right. and in operation. Okay. Now, I mean, obviously the DRC mining sector is thriving, but it's not without its challenges. Speak to me about what some of these challenges are and how you are addressing them. Uh, basically, when we are growing and expanding, we need a lot of you know, importation of uh, material, which are coming from South Africa uh, through Dar es Salaam port and Durban port. Now, as we are aware that Congo is having you know, landlocked, yeah. Uh, challenges and uh, we are we are following the challenges at border and we also trying to see that how it can you know fast track yeah. uh, those challenges so we are trying and collaborating with government and also requesting government to assist on you know to uh, to expedite those uh, importation uh, there are also challenges on power sector yeah. uh, we are also incorporating ourselves to uh, contribute for transmission substations and you know, the power generation uh, side as well. So our vision is to start from generation to distribution to the uh, domestic and end users. Uh, so the challenge is we are with the government and with the country to support and, you know, how can overcome this sudden uh, requirement uh, in the country. Absolutely. And I suppose you, the only way to overcome challenges is to, to work together. Finally, Manoj, can you tell me about some of the future projects and strategic goals for the company? Um, our vision from day one was to have a one-stop solution provider to the industry uh, and to the government. Uh, as we know that uh, government, uh, stabilized government is there and we have a uh, lot of infrastructure development coming up. So we are focusing on uh, power uh, issues where we can, how can we support and we do uh, manufacturing facilities in DRC so that currently we are producing conductors and cables and then we want to go with the uh, infrastructure requirement uh, for the in, uh, for the country so we are focusing on uh, more on infrastructure side uh, to support the growth of the uh, country okay well it's 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 very good news to yeah that you are supporting infrastructure development manoj thank you very much for joining us on mining review africa today thank you very much